Hello and welcome to the program. Issues on ABS Radio and Television. I'm as a biology. Today we are going to look at citizens' contributions to good governance. Citizens' contributions to good governance. And we have in the studio a renowned uh, um, commentator on national and international issues. Comrade, Kanayo, Epidibo, Rosome, Noka. And of course, uh, he has traveled world, uh, wide uh, to know what the citizens should do uh, with their contributions to good governance. Well, welcome to the program. How can I help you? For me, not. You're welcome. Thank you. No. Yeah. And of course, uh, he um, was the uh, president of uh, the Club of UNICEF. Okay. Citizens have a lot, a set of rights and responsibilities, and including the right to participate in decisions that affect them. Therefore, it is not enough to work only on setting up democratic institutions and processes. These institutions and processes must be put to work, creating opportunities for citizens to lead healthy and productive lives. And so, what is good, go good governance, by the way? And then, um, how can citizens participate in bringing good governance to uh, the citizenry? Well, a lot of questions, and of course, uh, the answers will be given to you on this program. Welcome uh, to the program again, Comrade Kanai Rodrigo. You're welcome. Thank you. No. Can we have good governance? How can we, <laughs> in our perspective? A uh, good governance, like you always do, a good governance, a good governance. A good government, a good government is supposed to be a good government. It's a good government. It's a good government. It's a good government. Especially 
the youth who felt that they were being targeted. And then the police is no longer protecting them. Police is disrupting them. Police doesn't want to see anybody with laptop, doesn't want to see anybody with iPhone, well, which is eroding into their rights. So good governance means the rule of law is with them. Because the rule of law governs and operates the decision of the government and the people that are doing it. So we are experiencing at the moment in this country a kind of a political revolution. The demonstration of determination of people to get registered, to use their PVC. You see, the collection is becoming an issue. This shows that people are very desirous to enjoy good governance. Yes, yes, you are. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Look, I mean, a reasonable percentage of citizens do not know their rights and ideas about uh, um, how to make decisions, uh, you know, about the policies of government and what to do. Uh, about uh, policy, they have no policy choices. So, whose duty is it to inform the people or let them know their rights? Yes, you see. You know, we are practicing democracy and uh, there are institutions. The institutions that are put in place for democratic principles and values to be established and in the process, it is meant for man, it is not meant for animals. Therefore, all the institutions of the government that are involved in where the security branch is supposed to effect their presence, fine. Where uh, the, uh, the social political aspect of government, of which actually defines which actually, you know, promotes those policies of government that there should be proper as uh, their health the labor. There should be pipeline water. There should be good food, facilities and amenities that actually help a nation to grow. So government should be able to do those things and, and come with taxations. That supports because when the government put the taxation in place, they will be able to muster and you know mop up funds for those social amenities that makes life meaningful in a society. So those are when you look at civilized countries, developed countries, they didn't, it was it wasn't happening overnight. I saw a clip in America. In the 18th century, where you had a rail on the streets of the roads and tracks. But it, over, over time, it's been metamorphosed that rails are now on the ground. And the vehicles are now actually running on those tight roads. But so today, in Philly, Philadelphia is in Pennsylvania, these tracks are still there running like vehicles on the streets of it today. So what I'm trying to say is that it is the duty, it is a contract, it is you know a kind of article of faith between the government and the people and two other government, the elected leaders, appointed leaders, who should live and operate within the tenets of good governance as prepared by democracy or parliamentary system. Mm. Now, uh, uh, maintaining law and order, respect for considered authority, and uh, obeying the laws of the land are uh, uh, part of citizens' uh, contribution. What they should do is what they should do to uh, contribute to good governance. 
uh, why do people find it difficult to do all these things? Because um, the, 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 the behave lapidistically, like it not the way, it doesn't concern me. Remember, we are joined uh, by Comrade Ken Okoli. Comrade Okoli is the president of the National Youth Association. Comrade, welcome to the program. All right. He's also the convener, I believe, in Anambra. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll come to you later. We're talking about uh, citizens' contributions to uh, good governance. So, maintaining law and order, uh, people find it go to maintain law and order, and just, it is a part of uh, providing good governance, making things order. Why do people find it supposed to? Uh, you see, uh, in Nigeria, we have not been able to control consequences, adequate consequences when somebody actually fell out of the law. That is the problem. They find it difficult because we have not been able to allow the law to take its course. In the the situation where I should contravene, I don't have a bridge because I know the PR of a recipe, I'll place a call. It doesn't happen anywhere. The, what the police do is to give me a ticket for contravening or for being pulled out of the road for some traffic offenses. So, you see, but this you can now imagine that IGO police was last week or I mean, some time ago committed to jail. The IGO police, by the military judge. In any context, for the pronouncement to be made by the UCI, it must be obeyed before you can now go on appeal. But he has gone on appeal and then on Wednesday it was set aside that the same judge ruled against herself or ruled, set aside her decision with the, 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 the uh, uh, information that the, the IG has complied by purging himself of those contacts. One police officer, one police officer, who could it was, 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 you know, not, you know, illegally or whatever the way they see it, removed from office. And the man went to court. And the police and the commission saw it and said, when the man went to court and got judgment, the execution is very simple. That is where we miss it out. They don't have that echelon of uh, uh, authority. They should be able to do the law. That's why people find it difficult because there are no consequences. If, in actual fact, that you fell foul of the law and you are punished right away, and people see that if you do this, you go to jail. You go, I can tell you without missing what that those people that are in jail are people who are, if you have a reasonable amount of money in this country, you can't go to jail. And we saw it. When, <coughs> where are the issue comes from? A, a, a senator will go and engage 10 sons and pay them. And they will come there and come up with a, all kinds of motions. They will stay aside a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, they short the case. Yes. And then maybe give a kangaroo judgment. Yeah. Right, um, Comrade Ken Okoli, we're talking about citizens' participation in in uh, to good government. Citizens have a set of rights and responsibilities, including the right to participate in decisions that now affect them. So, why then do they uh, find it difficult to, um, for instance, uh, participate in sanitation exercise that will benefit them and, of course, other uh, rules and regulations of the state? Well, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, participation in sanitation exercise uh, is one of the civic responsibilities of the citizen. And uh, there are lots of responsibilities that citizens have in order to make sure that the Society is well built, or the nation or state, as the case may be, is well built uh, for the common good of the people. Uh, 
Some of the societies in the other states, uh, is, I think, they usually don't have a last of the uh, But from the question, why the poor do not pay attention to their civic responsibility? There are a lot of things that are responsible for that. Sometimes lack of knowledge of what they should do. And sometimes it could be as a result of not having faith in the government, in the new government. And sometimes it, it could be as a result of being fed up with the system. These are some of the reasons why people do not participate. But having a good understanding of the citizen's role in nation building will make people to live up to the expectation. What's the expectation? What are those things you expect the government to do? And what are those things that you are to do that will make government, those who want government to do theirs? Because not everyone is going to want government institution. But the citizens have a normal role, especially, especially voting. Participation in the democratic process is very important. It is number one because that positions you as a citizen, you that positions you as a citizen, as an employer of anybody who is asking for employment in public office. And if you if you if you do not play that role, that is where you start failing as a citizen who is the king. Not those who rulers are king. We are the king. Can you make us? Yes. <laughs> so if you fail to play that first goal, then you, 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 everything is rubbish. Because assuming that you have a situation whereby 200 persons in a society are to determine who governs them. Now, 100 persons decide not to participate. And now when they decide not to participate, the amount of the 100 that are participating, then probably the world that is Mr. A and B are contested. The one that is Mr. A is good, Mr. B is not good, and Mr. B has, in, out of the 200, Mr. B has 60. 60. Then, if the 100 decide to participate, then definitely Mr. B will win. Because Mr. B has 60 out of 200. But because 100 are participating, Mr. B will win. But if, if as many 200 participate, and, and they, because Mr. B has 60, then Mr. A will have 140, and Mr. A will win. So, if citizens fail to discharge their civic responsibility mm -hmm. first by participating in the democratic, democratic, democratic process, mm -hmm. then whatever they get, they should not complain about that. But I want to follow up to that. Listen, in the first place, you talked about sanitation. It is not our duty to our citizens. To do what sanitation. Yes, that is not the duty of our citizens. Clean their houses, the different things, clean their compound, but clean up the road, creating the environment is not our duty. It's the duty of the local government. It's the duty of the local government that is elected into opposition to do what? And in America, it's cities. So they want people to clean. That is what it is. They, because they, it is a top tier of government. But because, because there is the mentality of our people, we we dated the environment, so government says, come and clean the no, 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 no. You dated the listing, in, like in Texas, in Dallas, you will see that mess, if you mess with Texas, $500, $500 fine. So don't mess with Texas, it is written. And then uh, you don't do outrage. It will have not caught you. remember the why? The way why pocket was everywhere. That are there. Well, yes, this yes why? Well, this is the why pocket. Even in the vehicles. But now you can watch a vehicle drive past you. Sometimes you hear a real atopo. They are an atopo. And nothing happens. Yes, because he, 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 nobody punishes them. But however, the duty of the city is to clean the city. My duty is to pay my taxes. Because oh yeah, my duty is to pay my tax. Then the duty of the city, I mean the city must clean up. Now, if you have an overgrown weed grasses, yeah, you, it is you that will go and look for grass more and more the day. Otherwise, city city will come, cut your grass and shut you. 
So those domestic areas in that house, it is a little. But cleaning of the drainage, making sure that there will nobody enter the street with uh, your water. You see, it's the duty of the city to enforce it and then clean it. Mm. Now that uh, the majority of our people is that <laughs> they don't pay, they find it not to pay tax and uh, find it not to clean the city. So whose duty is it to uh, enforce, I mean, tell people to, uh, inform people to know their rights, this is what you should do, this is what you do, they care. It's the local council. Of course. It's the local council. Yeah, uh, good thing this association under uh, uh, do has given back the responsibility to the local government to ask them. See, it is your duty now to manage West. It's your duty to clean the West. Maintain the streets. Maintain the streets. Maintain the streets. Maintain the streets. And 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 one of the one of the areas we use, the examination we we'll use in measuring the performance of the government as such a man. Is cleanliness of the environment, and it doesn't. It's not clean. Then there is this attitude of, of people that over time have developed when it comes to a, a clean environment. That what I say. You see people littering the environment as if as if it's just it's, it's not a so How do we give them that orientation not to litter the environment? How do we give them that information? Well, when they fall in that's life. what I'm saying that when they are okay with war against indiscipline, it was like that, war against indiscipline. You find out that they will, they will, they will find it to jump you, they will find it to No, you see, they are being forced to be disciplined. How are you going to do it? Yes, we have a civil society. We will we'll remember the maps. We will have other organs of you know, civil society that will go out and carry out this uh, advocacy, carry this uh, you know, enlightenment, and tell people if, we, if you, in, okay, in, in some places in Lagos, you don't cross the express. But look at it when there's a pedestrian crossing, people still flout it. See what Anambra has done by putting a bad boy. On the express, not for the road not to cross, and they still find it very difficult to do what. But in Lagos, there was a standby black Maria that takes people to, to uh, what they call mobile cops, and then you, you find people in Spiti, somebody that went out in the morning. So, what I'm trying to say is that we must put an extra law in place. You know, we really see what happened with the present government of Anambra State has come up with transition. To make sure this sanitizes certain, you know, uh, functions, both these Aboriginal uh, people, both the Okada people, and then the Keke people, pay tax. And they are expected, if you pay your tax, and government did not give you, give you, you know, uh, that uh, facility, then you can now revolt. You can even go to court and file one and push and compel the, the government to do the right thing. That is what it is. Mm. Let's now advise. I advise their communities, I advise their government, I advise their the citizen with yes. on the way forward. Yeah, you know, advice on what we have. for an ICJ will allow PVC. PVC will make power. Power in the sense now, ATN money. In our communities, that is the election. People don't want to have a election. To put the chairman, eh? Oh, man, oh, again, we will have a meditation to have youths, chairman of youths. So, we need to have stages of governance. Uh -huh. So, now, even I wonder, madam, like um, Madam Lobi Balu said, I'm to Jay. Yes, even when I was up with him, and of course, the place is better than too many was of the messages. In the name I am, now, over the years, town hall, they were a town hall, now, now, we see the population. So, you know, I know, we know, now, to you two, now, they so good here. We was now, we know, now, when you came to you two, now, they so good here. You could not even name them one, or one another. Now, no, I don't know. Jenny, I was open and I have my capital. Jenny, what's here? 
Si le monde est en contrôle, nous avons un autre. Nous avons un autre. Nous avons one of six nine communities in this Nigeria state, where the each leader is part of, and the, that's what you to develop the template for good governance, a template for good governance. Uh, we thought that next year we are going to introduce that template for good governance. If I understand, Anambra is ours, Anambra we serve. Therefore, I employ you to do the and all our youth that must do it to succeed. That he succeeds in a way that other state governments will relate. Anambra is the light of the nation. If there is anything that will change this country, it has to start with Anambra. And look at Anambra, or supporting the other states. Thank you. 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 Now, I was a major time or rally. We all know that. All like Kimmy, Kaduna, Jafara. So, we are all one. I agree with you. <laughs> Good governance is a way of measuring how public institutions conduct public affairs and manage public resources in a preferred way in good governance. Thank you for staying tuned. We also appreciate you. Comrade Kano Yobidibo, or me, or me, no. That was my no. I'm not doing with Christmas. Happy Christmas, my ambassador. Of course, former president, Rotary president of the University of Kaneki Kaneki, Comrade Kedo Kodi, chairman, uh, president, uh, uh, Nanka Youth Association, and of course, convener, I believe, in Anambra. We appreciate you. Thank you for coming. Dalu, Dalu, Nikai Kenobo. I don't know. On behalf of everybody in the house, and of course, Don Onyeji, I am as on the scene again. Bye for now.